Hello, this is Pat Walker on MissionWinners.com doing a video, a training, coaching, educational video for everyone. A lot of people like to get in and out of stocks quickly, and, and that's fine, but through the years, i found it's best to try to let some of these shares work for you. Let the stock work for you instead of your keyboard. I have to share this with you also, and this is very important. Years of research have pointed out, and some of this is research is from Bill O'Neill and Company, companies that have great earnings and are great sales in leading groups outperform other companies, other stocks. So we're going to show you an example of one. This is an actual investment that we did. I didn't say trade, it's an investment. No five minute charts, no in and out stuff. Let it work. Do you sell a little bit into strength? Yes, you can. Do you sell it all? No. You're limiting your profits. Don't limit your profits. Limit your losses. It's really important. So we're looking at a stock here called Keys. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag another window in here, and I want to show you something. Many of you have seen this before. This is from Bill O'Neill Research, 40 Great Stock Market Winners. These were stocks that had really good moves. 87% of these stocks, I'm not going to read this to you, Okay, I'll just let you let you look at this and ponder it. Bottom line is this, looking at point number two and point number six or point number five, you find stocks that have great earnings growth. And again, quarter prior to their move, stocks that have great earnings growth and or great revenue growth outperform other stocks. Stocks that are in leading groups outperform other stocks. So just take a look at this, and I'm going to drag this out of the window, and we're going to do an example of one here. We're looking at keys. This is going back to the first part of this year, January 4th. I'd like to notice the chart here. First off, at the time, and you'll see the numbers in a minute, but at the time, this was a leading group. This stock was in a leading group. At the time it broke out, it had great earnings, and it also had great sales. You don't need both, though, one or the other. At the time that it broke out, it was leading the market. And you can say, Pat, how can you say that? Look at the relative strength line. The stock is going sideways, and relative strength is leading the stock into new high ground. It's just consolidating here. It's got a nice volume pickup right here. You can see the clean tops going across here. In the first part of January, clean entry going across these tops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something that really helps you. And this is what we do when we do our meetings and events. Advance at one bar. And it breaks out right here on a good pickup in volume. See this? And we bought it right there. We bought it right there. Advance at a bar. And it continues. Everything's great. Relative strength leading the stock into new high ground. It's moving on up. Volume drops off, but the price is moving on up. Let it work. No five-minute charts. Just let it work. Fine. 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 Goes up again. And onwards. It drops here, down to the 8-day, on decent volume. Could you sell maybe a little bit off here? Yes. 10% of your position, possibly? Sure. 20 tops? Sure. Do you sell it all? No. Everything looks fine. Advance at a bar. Resting. Starts to pick up again. Lifting off the 8-day. Let it work. Let it work. Let it work. Let it work. Notice how it's trending up the eight period exponential moving average? That's really useful. Use these moving averages to your benefit. This is the 50. This is the 200 down here. Here's the 50. Here's the 20 period simple. Here's the eight. And I'm going to fast forward this some now, okay? And you can see it's just walking up the moving average. Is that beautiful? Just let it work. And again, 
it, and you're going to see it in a minute, this stock had great numbers before it broke out. It's a major portion of our foundation. It makes life easy. We'll continue this way. Going sideways. I mean, I'm, I'm in fast forwarding a bit. I'm not going to go through bar by bar. It's not necessary. But down here, lost the 20 day and the 8 day. Could you sell a little bit there? Sure. Maybe another 10 or 20 percent. That's all. I'll advance it further. Grinding on up. Maybe here you'd sell a little bit more. Or you hang on to it and just let it work. You've sold a little bit to lock in gains. Let it work. Are you looking at five minute charts doing this move? No. Are you looking at hourly charts or 30 minute charts? No. You're looking at the daily and weekly. You just let it work. Let's continue on. Right here, it loses the 50 day on heavy volume. That is a trigger to sell a little more. Not all of it though. Folks, you own it down here at 63 bucks. Don't get sloppy, but you let it work. Now what we're going to do though, we're going to advance it. It runs up and it closes down, but it's above the lows of this bar. Advance it. Quiet, quiet, resting on the 50 day. Drops down, but closes near the highs. Hovering, hovering, drops down, but does not lose these lows. Just sit tight. Comes down close to here, but doesn't lose it. Just let it work. And finally, on this bar, it loses the fifth. It loses, but falls below the 50 day, but it loses the lows of this bar. But it also does something else, folks. It loses that neckline right there. That could be a trigger with volume to sell the rest of your shares. And what's it do? Quiet. Lifts a bit. Goes up a bit. And then it does this. And it loses the lows of this bar on a pickup in volume. It gave you warning signs to buy. I hate to use the word warning signs. It gave you signs to buy it but it was also giving you signs to sell some or to sell it. And we sold it. When it lost this low here, sold it. And what happens? This. And what's the best part? We missed all this. We missed it. We missed this big gap down. Why? Rules to get in, rules to get out. And now I can show you the other part of the equation that's so important. Right here, earnings were up 42%. That was what you were looking at before it broke out. 42% increase in earnings. Also, it was in a leading group back then. It's still in a leading group, but it was in a leading group. Relative strength was leading in a new high ground. Everything, and it's a nice, clean, and simple base that everybody can see. My point is this. It's not quick in and out stuff. You could sell a little into strength and then you just let it work for as long as possible. I've had stocks and I have stocks. They're not even on my front page. I don't even watch them during the day. I've got a price alert set, but I don't even watch them. Why? Because you'll get shaken out. Let it work for as long as possible. That's where the money is. No five minute charts. No 10 minute charts. Let the stock <clears throat> work for you. I wanted to share this. This is what we do. Do they all do this? No, no. But some of them do. And when they do, you just let them work. I hope this helps you. They're doing this for education. It's not just about giving ideas. It's about explaining why and really nuts and bolts in the chart. Bar by bar. That's what we want to do. Price and volume. Connect the dots, and that's how you make your money.
with low stress. That's what we do at Mission Winners. I wanted to share this with you. This is a real world example. And yes, we did sell this stock. The rest was gone and we took the money. Thank you very much again. I hope this helps you. <clears throat>